Hey, 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 what is happening today? I think that's a little better than hey there, hi there, hold there, peeps. You know, I realized that I got that kind of from um, What's Happening. There was a show that I used to watch back in the day called What's Happening. Um, anyway, that's neither here nor there. I still kind of like that hey there, hi there, hold there, peeps. Anyway, I'm getting beside myself now. I am... Um, logging in or vlogging today about something called imposter syndrome um so when i first started doing um counseling one of the things that i said to my counselor is that you know because they ask you what do you think you want or what do you think you need counseling for and one of the things that i thought that i needed counseling for was something that my daughter brought to one of my daughters brought to my attention she sent me a video with someone who was talking about having imposter syndrome. Now, um, when I listened to the video, it did not define and or explain it, but I thought I had a pretty good grasp on it, and it turns out that I was right, but I had the wrong definition. So the girl was doing some things, and the way that I thought that it was, well, the way that it was described and what I thought imposter syndrome was, was that this girl was doing all these things, and, um, she kind of felt like throughout the day that she was being someone else and she really did feel like she lived up to that person that everybody else thought that she was so that's what i thought imposter syndrome was and i thought that i had it i was right but it's not quite that so um i decided today i've been feeling down over the past few days and just like some stuff had happened, some stuff is happening in my life right now, and it like kind of is throwing me for a loop, although I'm like fighting to keep control and keep myself up, and so I decided, I don't know why, sometimes things come to your head, sometimes things come to your mind, don't mind my wall, there was some, um, there was some tapey tape stuff there, you know, when you take it off, it kind of blackens, but planning on painting soon anyway um anyway there was um i was about to say there was some paint again there was some i decided to look up the definition um and um the definition that i actually that actually came up for me was pretty clear very very clear and it helped me to recognize and to realize that i do have imposter syndrome i do suffer from imposter syndrome and um but it's not exactly what i thought so basically, when people have imposter syndrome, they don't recognize their own achievements. They don't see who they are. They kind of live in this world as if though they're not good enough. They kind of feel like um, it's not really me doing those things. Um, so in a way, I was right, and in a way, I was not. But <sighs> this is another reason why I do these videos. And um, so I had been doing some journaling and um, I did a lot of things um, in the past that um, a lot of shows and stuff that I put on because I'm an entertainer um, I'm an artist and one of the things that I do well is I put on shows I produce I produce shows and I um, 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 what do you call it facilitate produce choreograph sing teach so what I would do is I would uh, choreograph different dances um, teach different songs poems recruit talent put together a schedule put together a, a program um, music and whatnot and put on a show um, I had a few faithful people that I would go to and on the strength of I'm just such a nice person <laughs> and, uh, on the strength that I'm very respectful to a lot of people and um, like for instance at my job I'm the person that talks to the janitors I'm the person that has a relationship with like genuinely I can ask them to do something for me because I don't come in and pretend like they don't exist like I don't look at people that are on the bottom as some people will see them as being on the bottom I don't look at people like that so um, I'm that person who regardless of what my status is and how much I've moved up at work I still talk to those people and still have a genuine concern for and relationship with 
and treat people like people you know what I mean so therefore when I ask people like I will see when I back to when I said I recruit talent back to uh, I will go to people who I know has have some kind of talent people who other people have asked to do shows and whatnot at my you know at places that I've worked because it's happened in more than one place that I've worked and um who they would never do anything for anyone else, they would say yes, they would do it, and, you know, and it wasn't an easy thing, because on top of doing their job, they would stick their necks out and, you know, rehearse and or practice and do, um, and, and come through for me to be able to put on shows, and that requires a certain a certain amount of charisma on my part, and it requires, like I said, it's just me um, being the person that I am and respecting everyone, you get what you give in life, right? So, a lot of the stuff that I've done, I've I've fit, I've, I've recorded it, so it's like on video or um, the work that I've done, putting into like paperwork and um, behind the scenes things that I had to write down or type up. I have I have. Them. So in looking through some of my old paperwork and like looking through like Google Docs or something like that, recently I've come upon some things that I've done for years and years and years and years and years back. And I'm like, wow, let's just looking at it in awe and just sitting down like, I did that, I did that. And you would have people who after the show's over, they would they would they would come out and say, Wow, that was so great and to be allowed to do it, to be allowed um, when I say to be allowed, I don't have my own studio yet, but to be allowed to, to put on these shows in the position that I was in, I mean, that, that took a lot of me, you know, who I am too, to get that permission. And, and I got that permission before a person in my position was supposed to have it. Uh, let's just put it that way. And, um, to, to be able to get that same permission over and over again and from job to job to job must mean that I am I'm really talented. I mean, you know, I'm talented and um, people recognize that, everybody but me. So while everyone else was congratulating or, or saying to me, yeah, 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 wow, this is great and, you know, Sometimes when it wasn't even my production, people will come to me and ask me, how do you do this? How do you do this? And I wound up training people. I taught myself how to use um, a mixer. I didn't call it a mixer. Um, I guess I'll call it a mixer for now. It's like a, a soundboard. Um, I don't know how else to explain it because I taught myself to use it and I never went to school to to use it but to learn how to use it but is this something that deals with sound when you're doing a show and um, and I did that and I was able to based on my personality and who I am and the respect that I have for other people I was also able to bring in people from outside and um, to my job to perform people that weren't getting weren't getting paid to do it and and so when I look at that stuff and then I I think about how much doubt I have in myself and how much I see myself as um, I want to say less than only because I don't have any other word any other words now when I'm doing these things I am a different person the 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 strength of God comes out of me and it's like I especially if it's the day of the show or rehearsals right before the show and I'm saying show because this is what I do the most and I'm just as a, just as an example and I am like I am walking around like I've been doing this all my life I'm in my zone I don't have any doubt. There are little things that go wrong in any show. Every time there's a show, things with any, and it always turns out. It always turns out to be something that I'm proud of everyone for. Because, and I say proud of everyone for because um, everyone that's involved, that's performing in the show. If they didn't perform in the show, I wouldn't have a show. So when I see them really, really, really come through. I am often, almost most of the times, 
to the point where I could cry <laughs> because they're so awesome. And um, I could see that in everybody but me. So back to the definition of imposter syndrome, it says that usually it stems from something that happened in childhood. And then I said, oh my God, that is so right. Sometimes ideas are put into your head as a child that you don't recognize are there and you, and you, what's the word? Hmm. I want to say give in to them. Like you, negative things are said about you as a child. And uh, people tell you that you can't do anything, you won't be anything, you won't amount to anything, you're stupid, those kind of things. And they kind of get in there. Even though you're not saying to yourself, I'm stupid, I'm not worth it, I'm not going to amount to anything. One teacher told me that I was going to be on the street corner <laughs> drinking beer. She said it in general to the class that we wasn't going to amount to anything. And I wouldn't say that I walk around saying I'm never, I'm never going to amount to anything. But there are those feelings of in, inadequacy that do happen automatically that happens with anybody that's told anything negative um, from childhood and you kind of like feed into it subconsciously so now that I have the actual definition and, and it really makes sense to me of imposter, sy imposter syndrome and see what is actually happening and I'm like looking at all of this stuff that I've done like it was really me it wasn't someone else um, I am making this video to to be able to look back on and to encourage other people and to just to cut to encourage anybody who's going through the same thing and to let you know that now that I'm recognizing it there's a lot of work I know there's gonna be a lot of work that I have to do to be able to own own it like you did it own it right but um, in the same token, I would like to encourage any of you who feel like this is you and you fit into this category um, to, to recognize, write it down, tape it, video record what it is that you do so that when you get into those slumps and you're feeling like you're not worthy, you can't do it, you're not good enough, why me, why not somebody else, there are people that could do it better, you can physically have evidence of your greatness. And I'm not saying this to be conceited, because again, I'm not a conceited person, but it's nothing wrong with recognizing your achievements. People do it all the time, trust me. People who don't have imposter syndrome, some people walk around as if they're God's gift to the world, and they don't have the talent <laughs> that you do. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I, I know a lot of those. <laughs> but there's nothing wrong with, and Christian or no Christian, I mean, I know some people feel like as a Christian, you're supposed to be down in the dumps, down on yourself, feeling like, and this is something that I did for a long time too. I never wanted to accept my achievements because I felt like it would bring somebody else down but guess what that's not your problem that's their problem so if you're intimidated by and if you feel bad about my achievements if that makes you feel bad then maybe you need to go back and do something about it get some more training take some classes somewhere do something so that you feel good about yourself but don't base your worth and you feeling good about yourself on me and what I can do and or what I can't do. Your success shouldn't be based on comparison to anyone else. And so as a Christian, if you are a child of God and you are royalty, and I'm not saying this to convince anybody to be Christians, whatever you believe in, but if you believe in a higher power, if you believe in God and you are a child of God, then it makes you, and, and, God is, and God is king of kings, then it makes you royalty. And if you are royalty, then you shouldn't walk down feeling like you don't matter or you, you or um, down in the dumps like a meek little feeble mouse of a person who feels like you should not be proud of your achievements. 
there's a difference between being proud of yourself and recognizing what you're capable of and recognizing what you're capable of because God gave it to you. I mean, you know, obviously, but in order to be good at anything, you have to have a level of confidence in order to do that or else you'll be like me and live up to this point or a lot of your life or much of your life um, as as an imposter or never achieving your goals if you have a gift and you have a talent you gotta work at that gift and that talent and if you're always living in a state of well maybe I am maybe I am maybe I won't maybe I can't then you'll never reach that full goal because it takes confidence in order to stand up and use your talent right you'll never be able to use it what's the sense of having it if you're not going to use it right so there I go this is like 15 16 minutes long anyway I hope this encouraged someone else besides myself I will have this in some kind of archive to be able to go back and look at when I'm feeling bad about myself but I am currently on my journey to recognizing my worth and recognizing what I can do and not being ashamed of what I can do and constantly working to do better and to get better at what I do. Peace.